You should hear me now, I guess. Please confirm. And I think I'm gonna have to repeat whatever I've been saying for the last five minutes. Fuck. That's what I have to say. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I've been talking for five minutes and you guys haven't hear me. Shit. All right, I guess I'll be uh, repeating myself. Good thing that you didn't hear the background noise. So I was saying that I'm in New York and I've been here for a couple of weeks and I didn't have actually, I didn't have a lot of time to post videos on YouTube because I barely get uh, sleep and I've been working on a lot of stuff. I didn't have time to edit videos, so yeah. Um, I don't know, so uh, before, so you can start asking your questions in the chat, but let me actually make some updates and public announcements uh, to put you guys on track with what I've been working on lately. So um, I was here and I was saying that for the, I mean, for the past year, it's been a year since I started working on my second course, which is Python for Penetration Testers. And this is a sequel to the first course, which is Python Basics, which teaches you the fundamentals of Python. That will actually be helpful in the second course, in which, which I just published a couple of days ago, and in which I uh, teach you penetration testing with Python. Stuff as really... Uh, interesting stuff such as info gathering, uh, port scanning, screenshots, the socket module, the scaping module, which is really interesting, attacking web forms uh, and all this stuff. So I've put up a coupon on my Twitter two days ago and I think it's still valid for the next three more days, but still Udemy takes 89% off of creators of the original price and it actually gives this course for eleven ninety nine. but I don't know I mean um, I have to deal with it so this is actually this is actually you didn't see you just saw me I, I just realized it and I turned the I turned the screen sharing on so this is what I was saying this is the course that I just published it's still eleven ninety nine for two more days. And this is the first course Python basics, which I published last year. All right, so that would be pretty much uh, it for the special announcements. Um, I don't have too much time available to actually stay here. So I will be answering your questions that you have in the live chat and we might also do some attack defense stuff. I really want to get back into the attack defense stuff because because they have uh, they have some very realistic scenarios and um, it's a shame that a lot of uh, people that want to train in cybersecurity are actually doing CTF stuff which most often than not I keep saying and I will keep on saying is fucking unrealistic so please pardon my um, bad language so to speak um, okay so that's just about it um, I didn't have too much like I said I didn't have too much time to edit stuff I have collaboration videos coming up we didn't I didn't have time to film them or to record them I keep uh, postponing people because I don't have appropriate or proper setups this is not a proper setup that I am in right now so uh, that's something that's gonna be fixed I usually have a positive mindset and uh, that's something that's gonna be fixed in the upcoming weeks there's gonna be more videos coming from the channel some uh, so pharmacy hey all um, all we you asked uh, if I would ever do um, bug bounty series well, it depends. I'm not actually going to look for bug bounties in live targets because who knows? I mean, if I discover something live, I don't want to get into legal stuff uh, just for nothing, just for the sake of doing some... Uh, probably to be on the safe side, you could do a little bit of recon here and there on a live stream, but I wouldn't go hunting for bugs live because, I mean, this is not the case. If you want to be a bug hunter, you you most often than not have to learn the really intrinsic or uh, the really hard 
complexities or details about, about bug bounties on your own. I've personally developed my recon methodology over the past seven months and I keep refining it. So it's not like I'm actually going to publish that. I'm not because it's my methodology and whoever tells you that they publish their methodologies live, they're not actually truthful to you. Or whoever says that they're, they're super transparent, they're talking about their stuff uh, and they say that all their tools and whatever they're working on is, is published and it's out there. They're actually not uh, being truthful because it's like giving away everything that you're using to actually find bugs. So, I mean, I can talk about bug bounties. I can talk about tools that everyone uses I can do demonstrations on how to use them if that what if that's what you guys want but actually explaining my methodology my personal private methodology I don't think that anyone does that uh, correct me if I'm wrong um, and I'm always open to be wrong hi YouTube uh, Bruno Monteiro go practical to attack and defense what do you mean? Hi Derzar, making an Nmap GUI application in Python. Any suggestions? Yeah, sure. I mean, you can use TK Inter, which is a Python library that lets you develop uh, GUI applications. And I think I have, <laughs> I have tutorials from two or three years ago on how to use TK Inter to uh, create GUI applications and I think I did it for Windows but from from my understanding is that uh, TK Inter and since TK Inter is Python based and Python might be platform independent I think you could run the same application on either operating system whether it's Linux or Windows but it might be more complicated than that yeah, so anyways, um, that's that. Look into TK Inter. There are other Python libraries that, uh, hello Efrain. There are other Python libraries that help you develop GUI applications that I probably mostly don't know of. There's also WX Python, which is, uh, which I think is, uh, is um, for Windows only. So WX Python, and there are entire books written in uh, or for WX Python. Actually, I've been using WX Python in one of the um, in one of the lessons in my Python for Penetration Testers course to uh, to grab screenshots. So to one of the one of the lessons in my Python course is to actually have a script that grabs screenshots and uploads them to a remote location to, to an FTP server in this case. So that actually runs in the background. Hello Jeffy, what do you think is the number one operating system most used for bug bounties? It's irrelevant. Do you really need Linux? No, you don't. It depends on what you do. If you actually spend a lot of time on doing like real hacking like for example manual hacking manual hunting with uh, burp if you do source code review you don't need linux you just uh, you just do manual source code review if you have application to if you have access to the js files and uh, for example if you want to search for stuff for idors like you can do that manually only using burp and you you need you can do that in either windows or linux so it depends on what you want to do. If you're heavily focused on recon, you might need Linux because a lot of tools um, are actually bash based. So um, you would be requiring a Linux system to, um, to run them. What else is on your mind guys? shoot your questions or we can look into we could look into attack defense though uh, I'm a bit limited on time right now 
Bruno Monteiro, hello Bruno, do you recommend OSWE certification? Well, most definitely I do. I have a good experience with the fellows at Offensive Security. Um, I have a good opinion on uh, them, on the OSCP certification, especially in the light of the fact that they've recently updated their curriculum and they're getting themselves more up to date in terms of what they're teaching. So yes, I would recommend it, but um, from my understanding, it's uh, diff it's more difficult than the OSCP. So make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into, because you need to um, allocate sufficient time if you want um, if you want to get the certification in the first attempt or from the first attempt. You don't have to get it from the first attempt, depending on how much time do you have on hand or how much pressure um, is on you to actually get the certification. But let's say, in my view, I would act if you know something about penetration testing web applications, I would personally take like 60 days of labs, devote at least half of them to the materials only and not jump straight into the labs when you when you uh, receive your access to the lab and the materials so i would devote maybe at least half of the time to actually go through the materials they probably give you a book or something or reading materials plus the videos take sufficient time to go through them because the exam is probably gonna be based on a lot of the stuff that you've learned and also not only the exam but probably the labs in of themselves are probably going to be based on the materials that they are teaching in the class so don't just jump straight into it I know a lot of people who who attempted the OSCP and they didn't do any uh, reading of the materials or the videos and they failed they failed once they failed twice and then on their third time they actually decided oh wow we actually do have a we do have a book or we do have some something to read on and we do have some video stuff that we could go through we should go through and then they actually finally get it uh, after some other time and of course there are also other people who are experts or who are better uh, at penetration testing and they just got 30 days of labs flashed through the labs and actually got uh, themselves the, the certification in the first attempt without actually doing any of the materials and uh, stuff that I'm preaching. So hopefully this answers your question, Bruno Monteiro. What else is on your mind, guys? Talk to me. You are welcome, Bruno. So uh, what I'm actually, we're going to get a little background noise here. What I actually want is in the next uh, couple of weeks, maybe starting next week, I'm actually going to be making more collaboration videos with other YouTubers. I'm also going to have some interviews with other folks uh, from the cybersecurity community, folks that are that I've met on Discord, folks that I met on YouTube, and on LinkedIn and on other places and I'm actually going to try to bring you as much fresh information as possible from the he from the field and of course with a lot of um, with a lot of practical takeaway messages that you can guys uh, and girls implement to advance yourself technically and like from other perspectives so sort of like to advance yourself in the field so to speak uh, and then I'll also be doing more uh, more live videos uh, once I get like a better setting or an appropriate setting to, to do live stuff um, and I'll be announcing it like um, beforehand not like I did with this one 
so I'm probably actually going to do more live videos uh, tackling stuff like attack defense and maybe as some of you guys have uh, actually requested maybe I'll do some bug bounty stuff but uh, I'm actually going to talk about my take and I'm actually going to demonstrate some of the tools that a lot of people use in recon and in some other aspects I did a lot of recon so I would say that a lot of my experience so far is on recon which is why uh, explaining some of the tools that I've been using of course like I said not all of them uh, is probably gonna be helpful to a lot of you guys so um, if you don't have other questions in the next like 30 seconds to one and a half minutes I'm actually gonna call this uh, call this a day and finish or uh, terminate or destroy this uh, this live stream so yeah if you still have questions I'm here ask meanwhile So nobody, nothing. Okay, fellas, so we'll call it a day and actually prepare for another more like planned live stream in the near future. So hopefully I've been answering some of the questions that you've been posting here and uh, with that said, I'll be seeing you soon.